Hi guys, this is Mike here. So in today's video, I'll be doing um, on actually step by step tutorial on how you actually flash the stock ROM back to the uh, OnePlus 3T. So ultimately, currently it's running on Lineage OS. So what we are do now is to actually uh, flash back Oxygen OS into the uh, stock ROM onto the back onto the phone itself, so that um, you can actually use Oxygen OS again uh, in stock condition. That includes relock the bootloader and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the first step. So what we need to do initially was basically to make sure that uh, we need to enable developer option. So what we need to do is to type on a build number. Okay, once that is done, we can go back, go to system, advanced, developer options. Um, then you will need to make sure that we enable OEM unlocking uh, is already enabled so when you're on custom rom most probably this one is already unlocked and also android debugging and everything it's already enabled but if it's not then you'll need to enable those things so once it's done what you need to do is to connect your phone uh, to the pc via adb where we can actually do the um, reboot and stuff to make it work so let's just move on to the pc for the rest of the setup Okay, when you get connected to the computer, normally we'll greet with this message. So what you need to do is to allow this and click on OK to enable the connection from the computer to your home. Okay, so uh, what you need to do next is basically to um, I need, uh, do ADB devices to ensure device is connected. So once the device is connected, what you can do now is to <coughs> do an ADB reboot boot loader to get into uh, ADB reboot recovery array to get into TWRP recovery so once you're in recovery then um, <coughs> we will need to actually uh, push in the one zip OTA file uh, one plus oxygen OS OTA file for us to actually flash it via TWRP first right Okay, so when, when you are in recovery itself, your uh, it should be connected to your computer. You should build a copy of file into the phone itself. So what you need to do next is to go to the uh, Windows Explorer. Open up OnePlus, which is here, as you can see. You can delete off your old OpenGFs and the NHOS installation file. And after that, you can actually do the copy your OnePlus file, right? So for me, I'm actually copying the OTA files. So I just copy this and move it to the OnePlus internal directory. So we can, we will just need to wait for the copy to finish. Then we will move on to the phone itself, the recovery itself, to do the rest of the setup. Okay, in order for you to basically in, uh, go back to store, first thing what you need to do is to actually install the latest <coughs> Android audio um, files, stock image back into the um, the machine itself. So that they <coughs> basically what it does is that they will install the whole package and everything plus the recovery everything. So what you need to do is to go to TBRP and just do a, a install from there. So once the install is done, then you should be able to perform the un uh, locking back of the uh, of the phone itself so after it locks then it can be actually booted up into the um, into the uh, stock system so that you can actually check it out and stuff right so before we start the first thing first we need to actually do a factory reset so once the factory reset is done we need to go back okay so what we do now is we do an install as you can see, there's two files here. So what we are taking is the one by OTA 70, which is the latest Android audio updates for the OnePlus 3T. So what we're going to do now is to just swipe the confirm flash. So these will basically flash the sock ROM itself back to, into the system. And what it does after that is to replace everything, uh, plus the recovery and everything into the, um, to the system. So we'll just wait until this process finishes
So as you can see now, now it's completed. So what you want to do is to do a white cache and double cache. Then after that, we will need to go back. Just go back all the way back to here. As you can see now, what we're gonna do now is to reboot the fast boot again, so that <clears throat> uh, so that what happened is that we will do uh, all the necessary unlocking from the PC itself, and then we will be able to relock the phone and reboot back into the stock firmware. So let's just do a reboot and hit loader. Do not install and we are done. Okay, now we are in fast boot mode. So just let's get on to the computer for the rest of the setup. What you need to do now is do a fast boot, OEM, lock. So once you have done this, a message will appear on your device itself talking uh stating that you uh, the options for you to lock your bootloader so let's just move on to the phone for the rest of the setup okay so when we are in this screen basically what we do is just to use the volume uh, button to actually choose yes the long bootloader we we'll press on the power button so once you have that you should be booted up without the uh, startup <coughs> issues and they will do a factory reset great then after that you should be put it back to the stop firmware itself okay as you can see now uh, we already have this uh, ready so it's already booted up um, you can just go on let's go change this next next yeah, thanks. Agree. Agree. Then, uh, no thanks. Thanks, no thanks. Skip. Send us new. Skip. New. Thanks. Thanks. Skip. Anyway. Turn off this. This also. Accept. Okay, so what we have is a uh, Android 8 now, the base ROM. If it goes to the about phone, you can see it's now running Android 8, Oxygen OS 5.08, and some of the other stuff, Android Siri Patch November, and stuff like that, right? So, yep, so now you're on stock ROM, all locked and loaded, back to the stock factory settings. So, what we have here is basically how the, the steps that you have to look better stock. Uh, there's another video uh, on updating it to Android 9. We shall link it up in the description and as well as the uh, on the link that above, above so you can follow that if you want to upgrade the latest Android 9 beta stock uh, OS. Uh, okay that's all for now so if you have any questions regarding this do drop me a comment down below and if you like the video I'm doing do give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel for any future videos there will be more coming and that's all for today guys thanks and I'll see you again soon bye